Not one, but two Philadelphia hotels are in the spotlight tonight. They made the cut in the Michelin Guide's first full list, ranking the best in the country. One hotel in Wilmington and another in Cape May also made the inaugural list. Eva Anderson takes us inside the two Philadelphia hotels for a look. Tucked away on Locust Street, a humble hotel exterior hides a treasure trove of history. Owner Brennan Tomasetti turned a National Historic Landmark into a boutique hotel. The New Century Guild owned this property for 111 years and they left mostly everything intact. The New Century Guild was a group that supported women in the labor force founded in 1882. Tomasetti opened the Guildhouse Hotel three years ago after a big renovation. We wanted to honor the history of this property um, and in doing so we decided to name each of the 12 rooms and suites after members or founders of the New Century Guild. It's the hotel's unique story that Tomasetti believes earned it a spot on the esteemed Michelin Guide's first ever list of top hotels. It was one of just 207 U.S. hotels that received a one key rating out of three keys. Just a wonderful surprise and great tribute to all of the great work that took place here. She says a Michelin rep flew in from France to stay at the hotel. I took her on a tour of the property and in and out of various rooms and suites and was able to share with her the history. The other Philly spot to also earn the esteemed one key distinction, the Rittenhouse Hotel. It's hosted dignitaries and politicians. There's a tea room and restaurant providing experiences for guests to enjoy without booking a stay. It's really just a gem that's in Rittenhouse Square in Rittenhouse Park, one of the best parks that we have in Philadelphia. Jasmine Armstrong from Visit Philadelphia says both of these hotels making the list can only boost the city's tourism leading up to the 2026 World Cup. This award um, really is just another thing for us to highlight as we prepare for the thousands of people that we expect to come in 2026. And according to the Michelin Guide, when visitors arrive, they'll have a very special stay. Eva Anderson, CBS News, Philadelphia.